Hey everybody, Shalonda Gordon here, also known as the Online Marketing Angel, and I want to show you how to go into your Aweber today and create a capture page just from your Aweber. Now first you got to make sure you're on the list you want to use, okay, and then you're going to click on Web Forms over here, okay. Once you click on the Web Forms, it's going to open up your, your Web Forms or your capture page. See, I have a few here. So you're going to create a new Web Form, okay. So you click on that. Now you're into here where you can create a web form. Now guys, a web form is where wherever you put your information, your email, your name, and that kind of thing, that's where you're going to place um, this information. This is how you're gonna create this, okay? Now I'm gonna show you a real simple one. Here you have one that's already kind of right here, right? That you can use. Now, you know, your header, you might wanna edit your header and put something there, a picture there of some sort. Now when you do this, you're gonna want to basically have a picture that you'll have to form now when you do this whatever picture you decide to put up here it's going to have to be an actual link okay so you're going to have to make sure you have a web link for it all right so what you're going to do is you can click up here to edit the header you click here and when you click edit the header it's going to come up here and here you have this now you're going to go over to the advanced options once you scroll down to the advanced options you'll be able to see where the um where you can put your background image right here, okay, for your header. And that's where you'll put your image. Now, how do you get a link for your image, right? That's another issue. So what you'll do is you can click up, um, open a new thing here, and I go to Photo Bucket. Photo Bucket is where I put my links at, okay? So you can go ahead and you sign in to your Photo Bucket. If you don't have an account here, you're gonna need to go ahead and get one, okay? and um, and sign in and get and get yourself a photo bucket account so I'm signing in here okay guys so here here I am in my photo bucket now I can go and look in my library right and I have already a few things here I'm just gonna do a basic you know a basic little web form for you here so you'll be able to pick whatever one you want to use so let me go back here and show you so here for this one right here I'm not gonna put a picture I'm just gonna type something here um how Discover how a single mom went from welfare to making 4K per month in 90 days. Okay, then you capitalize. Um, enter your info below. Now, this is just very vague, guys, but this is the kind of... Thing that you'll do now here also you can resize it so you can spread it out a little bit you can go ahead and take this as well and um, when you go back into the editor here you can center it okay so that's centered and then you want to also center this as well okay so that that's centered okay you save it while you're in that header guys you can you can do your fonts different font sizes here if you want to make your words bigger you can do that you know you have to have to Go ahead and copy, you know, cover it, and then you can make your words bigger, smaller, you know, whatever you decide to do for that, okay? And then you can change your font as well. You can go over here and change your font if you wanted to, okay? And then save it. Now, next you want to decide what you want your, um, your labels to be, okay, here. So you can edit, you can have your name. Now, you don't have a name at all, but you can put your name here. You can have a full name, or you can do a first and last name on there. So if on your Aweber you do a lot of emails where you put first name, whoever it's going to for your iResponder, you might want to capture their name, okay? So you can choose to capture first and last name, full name, however you decide to do that there. On email, you want to make sure you get their email. So you can have the email and do that here. Now, the label up here, right here, guys, where the label is, that's what you want to say. Um enter best email okay and see how that changed right there and it says it there you can save it and you can do the same here right here with your full name lab label um, you can just put first name you can do that as well okay your submit button now a lot of people you see we have these fancy submit buttons on there right so with this one as well you can have your submit button say submit or you go ahead to your submit button do advanced advanced so we're in advanced now you put your button image now that's where you can go back to your um i'm gonna put sign up now 
right? So I want to use this, this image right here. So then I go into my library after you upload, upload your picture up to it. And guys, you'll, I'll do another video on how to do this part, but you upload your video. You can copy your direct link, take that back to here and you post that right here. Okay. So you paste that link there. When you paste that guys, you have to go back and make sure that there's only one HTTP because when you, okay, so there's one there. So you just want to scroll back to it and it'll, it'll do that for you. And then there it is right there. Now, also, I want it centered. So right here where it says position, I'm going to center that position right there. So sign up now. You can keep the respect. We respect your privacy if you want. You don't really have to have the email marketing by Aweber if you don't want to. Keep that there. And then you can also, guys, even go into your background, the body, and you can even change your color for the body. Okay. Here it is, your background cover color here. You can go ahead and change that color if you want it to be like a different color from the blue. Um, this might come out looking, ooh, that's a, that's a weird looking thing right there. But you know, you can do a different blue, like maybe I'd let, rather have a lighter blue. Okay, like that, okay? That's, that's where you can change your background. This is just a very vague example here. A lot of us do like a more of a, a beige color maybe. Let's see, get to yellow. And you can really make it like more of a tan. Okay, so that's how you get your background colors going, guys, right there. You can put a footer if you want to. You can always edit this and say, you know, um, see you on the inside. Okay, you can do that. You can center that. Um, you can change the color to red. You can bold it. Um, make it a little bit larger if you want to, okay? And even like maybe, there you go. Okay, and you can do that right there. Now, once you've done this, guys, this is gonna be your capture page, all right? It's gonna look like this. Now, something else you might wanna do too is when you're doing your, your body, you may wanna do a border. You can do a solid border. You can do a dotted dash border. And then you pick your color that you want, okay? I like to go with red for my border, okay? And then you can make the border a little thicker, okay? So there you go, now you have a border around your capture page. Now, so this is your capture page, all right? You can save your web form. You have to save it after every one, and then go ahead and go to step two. Now, you have your, I'm sorry, you have your web form, so you wanna name it. I'm gonna name this demo, all right? And then you wanna make sure you have your your thank you page. Now you can use a basic version, but this page right here is where it's gonna go after they opt in. So once they put their email and everything in, where do you want them to go? So you can do a custom page. You know, for now I'll send them to my blog. Okay. And then when they've already subscribed, you probably want to do the same one because what if they're coming back again and they haven't um and they haven't, you know, seen whatever that video was or wherever you were sending them to, okay? And then you save that. And then you go to the next step. Now here you can install it, all right? Now when you're installing it, you can either choose to install it, HTML, a web designer will install it for you, or have Aweber host the form. So if you're just doing a regular capture page, you want to have Aweber host the form. So you're going to take this link and you're gonna put it on whatever domain or whatever you wanna do in order to have Aweber host it. And I'm gonna show you just how it's gonna look so you can see how you can um, basically what, what it will, uh oh, it didn't paste it right, hold on. What it will look like. Okay, now this is great for individuals who may have a capture page that's been not, not allowed to um, post in certain places, okay? So this will get you around that and you'll still be able to basically capture leads even from places that are not accepting your normal capture page. And there it is. There's a capture page right there from that link on the internet, all right? Now, and also when you generate leads from that capture page, it's gonna come up in your list. It's gonna come up in your list as showing you a way to track it as well. So wherever you put this capture page, you use this capture page. If you look at your, your leads for that day, right here, it's going to show ad tracking what capture page that was that you used, okay, for that. So basically, that's what it's going to look like, all right? 
So I hope this was helpful for you, how to create your own capture page on Aweber. Have an amazing day. Look forward to seeing you soon. If you really like this, go ahead and leave a comment saying if it helped you or if it didn't help you. And I'll see you soon. All right. Have a great day and keep smiling.